An update tonight on a horrible crash that killed this Creekside High School graduate. We just received the arrest report on a driver accused of causing the wreck. This development comes six months after the crash that killed Trenton Stewart. He was back in town after his freshman year playing defensive lineman for Stetson University. Tarek's here with what we know about this arrest. Tarek. And here's what we've learned. We just got the arrest report today for 39-year-old Ariel Montagudo. It says he was speeding in the wrong lane and the impact with Trenton Stewart's vehicle was so aggressive it drove the car 138 feet backwards. Six months after a horrible wrong way crash killed 18 year old Trenton Stewart. The driver is now charged. The arrest report for 39 year old Ariel Montagudo says his Mercedes Benz was traveling west in the eastbound lanes of Old St. Augustine Road in the early morning hours of May 9th and hit Stewart's SUV head on. The report says Montagudo's Mercedes continued to travel west for about 108 feet after impact and went into a median before catching fire. A witness says they saw Montagudo get out of his car and crawl across the road to the other vehicle where he heard cursing. We spoke to Stewart's mother by phone not long after the crash. Trenton, first and foremost, was the absolute most incredible kid you could ever imagine. Mandy Stewart told us her son lived for football and was part of the brotherhood at Creekside High and at Stetson University. He had just completed his first year of college and was home for a break and making some extra cash delivering food for DoorDash. He was on his way home when he was killed. Stewart's mom reflected on her son's life and her plans for the future. And I want to thank the entire community for helping me raise such an amazing kid. And I will do everything in my power to live out his legacy within our community as gratitude for him, as well as everybody who helped shape my baby. Stewart said her son was just two miles from home when he was hit. After the crash, Montagudo was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. He's now charged with vehicular homicide. Joy Kent. All right, thank you.